All right, so I'm doing a cooking video today. Figured I'd do something different since this is my passion. So uh, tonight for me and my old lady, I'm doing uh, stir fry. And so I'm, just, I'm gonna marinate the meat. It was, let me check real quick. Um, they're New York strips, I let them thaw. I chopped them up and I cubed them. We have two little bags. We're gonna marinate them now. Uh, so, you're gonna want soy sauce. Um, I'm gonna use habanero Tabasco. You're gonna want some, it's another really good thing to marinate it with. I guess that'll work actually. Yeah, no, that should work. Later on, I'll do more crazy marinades, but for right now, I want to keep it kind of like simplistic, but yet, you know, okay. So for your soy sauce, you're gonna want it to cover all of the meat, so you're gonna need to use a lot. So just kind of get it all in there. Okay, so just because you don't want uh, some meat not to be covered or marinated, then you take your, for if you're doing exactly what I'm doing, you'll take this Tabasco and just a little bit, like gauge your tolerance basically. Like I really like spicy food, so my tolerance is gonna be different and but there's going to be other things when i make the sauce for the noodles it'll be completely different i'll actually use this marinade for the noodles because it's already good it's um yeah sure it's touched raw meat but as long as i'm cooking it in a pan all the pesticide or not pesticides but all of the the bacteria and germs and any sort of disease that may or may not be in the meat would be cooked off anyway so, you know, make sure that's sealed up and do the same thing to this bag. Put enough soy sauce in there, cover all your meat. And now you're gonna wanna be careful too, cause soy sauce, it's so, there's a lot of sodium in there and too much sodium can and will kill you, it'll also make it really salty. So you have to be very careful with like, cause yeah, there's a lot of soy sauce in this. And since I'm using this marinade, um, or the marinade that's in these bags, when I make the noodles later, I'm not going to uh, use any more. That'll be all the soy sauce I use. Just be really careful. Um, Portion control basically is all it is. Actually, I'm going to throw some seasonings in here too, because don't get me wrong, this is a good start. It's a good flat base, but it's not perfect um, by any means. It's good solid basic rudimentary stuff. Um, I got a lot to choose from, as you can see. Um, I want to try cinnamon, but I'm not sure that's going to go well with stir fry. So not today, but a different time. So you have to think about a traditional stir fry. What is stir fry? Noodles, meat, and vegetables, right? So garlic powder, we'll use that. That's a good marinade all around. Um, we'll do... Chipotle chili powder. Let's, so we need something to sort of like balance it out. Cumin, because I got the habanero and then this Chipotle chili powder. It's not gonna be like deadly hot, but it's still gonna be really warm. So we need something to balance it out. When I make the sauce later, I'll, use, I'll throw in brown sugar. So we don't want anything too sweet right now. 
because this is for the meat. All of this, you have to, when you're cooking and you're making food, especially if it's food that has a lot of different things involved in it that you have to incorporate, you have to think about how this one part will affect the rest. If the meat's off, then the rest of the dish will be off. If the noodles aren't properly done, it's gonna kill everything. If the vegetables aren't chopped right, they aren't cooked right, they aren't seasoned right, it's gonna make everything taste bad. So you just have to be very careful with this process. Now that's not to scare anybody or to make them think it's like hard, but it's just, you have to be careful. So cumin first, cause it's not, you know, spicy or sweet. It's a basic flat. It still has flavor, so to speak, but it's not, it's a happy neutral, basically. Just, it's to round everything out. So you just try to get it all to come out. Not all of it, but enough. That's pretty good. Just eyeball it. If you're marinating, yeah, sure. Someone might get mad at me for that, that I'm not measuring things out. But keep in mind, I've taken, I've taken meat classes. I've taken um, cooking courses. Uh, I have a couple of certifications. No, that's not to say that I'm professional. I don't mean to break my arm stroking my dick or nothing, but it's just you have to, you know, I, I got a basic understanding of what to do. So you throw bow, a little bit into both, then uh, Chipotle. Now I know this might not be, you know, traditionally what they use, but just because it's not traditionally what people use doesn't mean you can't use it. If you're trying to make something authentic, then by all means, only use what they have available, what the, the, the culture had and use to make it. But don't be afraid to get creative in the kitchen. That's the great thing about food is sometimes you don't know if it's gonna work or not and the only way to find out is to try. Yeah, sure, it kills your ego when you go to make food and it doesn't taste good. You, it makes you feel like you should never try to do that again. But that's, that's not how it should be. Don't feel bad because you made a bad dish. That's completely understandable. That's some, it happens to everybody. So don't beat yourself up over it. Oh, these are way too small. Um, take these other bags. Uh, I hope. Yeah, these are. Okay. So now we'll double bag it just for the sake of in case it leaks or anything like that. It's always good. Um, it's a good safe way to do it, to double bag these things. If I can get it all in there. Um, I tried making bread earlier, didn't turn out. I tried making a yeastless bread, it was not tasty. I should have known that it wasn't going to be very good when it didn't call for it, like much of anything, which normally bread doesn't, but you should have something in there to make it not so dry. I mean, all I really added was water, but since there's no yeast and stuff like that, it's not gonna like turn out very well and won't be very airy and soft. So if there's no yeast, you should probably have something in there to make it a little um, less dry. But so now that we have our meat mayonnaise, go ahead and just uh, shake it up. Make sure everything's covered, all those seasonings that you put in there, make sure you don't want it just sitting on those the pieces that it fell on that were floating at the top. You want to make sure it's get very incorporated all over it. 
Um, also, let me know if you want y'all want me to do more cooking videos. I cook a lot. I have a lot of interesting ideas. Um, that I I'm really I really want to try. So just let me know what y'all think I should do. Shake everything up here. Okay, and then we're gonna pop these. In the fridge until later tonight. Let them marinate for a couple of hours. It'll become plenty tender and 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 whatnot. Also, I'm gonna stress. I can't stress this enough. When you are cooking and you are done, and because I have a cutting board that pulls out of my. Yeah, that's not my counter. That's a cutting board that pulls in and out. It's pretty, pretty sick. But when you're done and you just cut raw meat, this has bleach in it. Make sure you use something that'll kill all that bacteria. Everywhere where the raw meat was, spray it down. You don't want raw meat juices all over. Let it sit there for a second. Let the bleach do its job and kill that bacteria. And then don't just lightly gently wipe the surface area down. Make sure that you really get down in there and you're making sure it's all good. That just slides away. Wipe up the rest of the counter and then boom. No more mess, no more worries. And that's that. So, so check out this speech crew neck I got for being in speech this year. He's in speech 20. Even as my thing, I'm back my name. I think it's pretty sick. So, um, and obviously stir fry you don't really need a side, but I was thinking about making a dessert. You know, trying to be more health conscious and watch what I eat. But I still wouldn't be a bad idea. But what's a good dessert? I have this. Uh, hold on. I have this apple pie filling. This cherry pie filling. Um, I don't expect anyone to see it, to see this as soon as I upload it, but. I'm gonna decide, and then I'm gonna make pie crust. I th hope I have, because I don't have pre-made pie crust, so I'm gonna try to make my own, and I'll make that a video too. Don't worry, I got y'all. But I don't want this one to be an hour long, so I'm gonna get started on that and fucking bake a pie.